My name is James Kaufman, and I'm a professor of educational psychology at the University of Connecticut. And I'm going to talk a little bit about creativity and mental illness. This is one of the most contentious topics within the field of creativity, which tends to not be terribly contentious. Are people who are creative more likely to be mentally ill? Depends what you mean by creative, and it depends by what you mean by mentally ill. One way of looking at it is this big C, little c split. So are we talking about geniuses or are we talking about everyday people? There's a lot of research on creative geniuses and mental illness. A lot of it's very flawed and there are a lot of big problems with it. And it's hard to extrapolate beyond the very specific things that those studies look at. That said, I think there's too much too many studies that look at creative genius and mental illness to not think that there is something there. I think, however, that these studies are often greatly inflated, sometimes by the people who've done the studies, and that we like things to be simple, just as, as, a, as a people, and this isn't a simple topic. If we look at everyday creativity, there have been some studies that look at things like hypomania or schizotypy, subclinical disorders, and their relationship to creativity. And some studies have found a relationship. But there are other studies that find that creativity is associated with positive mental health and that creativity can be used to help yourself after you've had a terrible trauma. Creativity can be used to decrease stress. Creativity is associated with good moods. So there's a lot of conflicting evidence. Sometimes it can be the way that you're creative. So there's some evidence that um, poets may be more likely to be mentally ill versus other writers, not necessarily versus the population. Whereas, conversely, people who do expressive writing, like in a journal or a blog, are notably more likely to be mentally healthy. So creativity and mental illness is one of those topics that we want an easy answer. Most people believe there is a connection. And yet, with what's out there right now, we can still mostly just make educated guesses.